It's hard being a Sonic fan, waiting game after game just for bad results. I even think long and hard if I want to replay Sonic 06, but then I throw it away. I was ready to give up, but then. Music started to play. Rumors say it was a new 2D Sonic game. I was ready to go and check, and I sprinted towards the music. But then I tripped on Sonic 06 and died. The end. It's been so long since we got a good Sonic game. That, alongside we got a bad game. But boy will I tell ya, it's actually pretty refreshing playing a good Sonic game. Too bad it's not a 3D game. Your time will come. Someday. Sonic Mania came out in a golden year of gaming. August 15, 2017. I'll tell you this much. I really love this game. And dare I say, it's better than any recent new Super Mario Bros. game. This time around, the game was developed by Christian Whitehead instead of the Sonic team. I mean, it was a good choice as he made the Sonic Mobile ports. Everything about the game, the visuals, the gameplay, the music, they're all great. The story goes, Eggman, wait, can you even call him Eggman in this game? Got this crystal thing that changes dimensions called the Phantom Ruby. Sonic and Tails just saved Angel Island, but then gets teleported to Green Hill Zone when they stumble upon Eggman's robots. You fight Eggman and his Death Egg robot, and after that's done, you see him talking with the <coughs> hard boiled heavy. You get teleported to Chemical Plant Zone with the Ruby, and you try to stop Eggman and the Heavy King since he's trying to get the same thing. For whatever reason, he just kind of betrays Eggman if you're playing as Sonic and have all the Chaos Emeralds. This is more of a true ending for Sonic. The story was a little changed if you're playing as Knuckles. What happens is, he was just chillin', but because he was close to the Phantom Ruby at the time, he got teleported too. Poor Knuckles. You later play the game normally except when you reach Mirage Saloon Zone and Lava Reef Zone. We'll get to Mirage Saloon later, but now, the way they changed Lava Reef was by Knuckles fighting the Heavy King instead of the Heavy Rider at this point. He fought the Heavy King to stop him from stealing the Master Emerald which is a cool side plot. The zones in this game are amazing. New or old, you'll love the levels no matter what. Since it's 2D, they are pretty linear, but what makes it unique from just any old linear game is there are different paths you can take. Like you could go up, down, left, right, forwards, backwards, wait a second. Studioopolis, Mirage Saloon, and Titanic Monarch are the new zones and they are all great. They all add something unique to the game, just like how the older games used to add something new. There are 12 zones in total, 13 counting Egg Reverie, and they all play solidly. You have two different bonus stages, one for extra modes, and one for all Chaos Emeralds. The first one is in a giant ring. It makes you play this Sonic R styled minigame where you're chasing after the Chaos Emerald until you catch it. You have a timer, and to refill it, you collect the coins that are there. And to gain speed, you need to collect the blue balls. They are all unique for all Chaos Emeralds, so don't expect to play one of them twice after completing it. Once you got all 7 Chaos Emeralds, the giant rings just give you 50 rings which lets you become Super Sonic. The next bonus stage is a comeback from Sonic 3. You get into it by going in the sparkles that appear on top of the checkpoint. You have to collect blue spheres and after you do so, you get a medal. These medals change, if you didn't collect all rings, it would be a silver medal, but if you did, it will be gold. These medals give you access to extra modes that I have yet to unlock. This one can get so hard. Egg Revere can only be accessed by Sonic if he has all Chaos Emeralds. This zone has you fight Robotnik and the Heavy King who are both fighting for the Phantom Emerald. You can access this zone with Tails and Knuckles via debug mode. Knuckles has an alternative zone and boss. Mirage Saloon Zone Act 1 changed from him as he fell off the plane. Poor Knuckles. The boss is the same mini boss you fight with Sonic and Tails, 
just differently though. He has a secret ending if you complete the game with Knuckles in the end Knuckles mode. Cute. You can play as Sonic, Tails and Knuckles in the game just like Sonic 3. They all play differently, each having a unique move. Sonic can drop dash which is new in this game, where instead of manually having to spin dash, you can just press the jump button while you're in the air and you will dash on impact. Tails? Well that's pretty obvious. Knuckles can glide alongside climbing walls using his knuckles. Finally, Knuckles getting the justice he deserves. There are plenty of modes in the game which is pretty nice. There's the single player obviously, then there's competition where you go against your friend in a split screen multiplayer in any zones without a boss. Next, there's time trials, which is pretty self-explanatory. In extras, you can get other modes unlocked via the medals, which is fun. I always wanted to play Puyo Puyo in a Sonic game. You could customize the way you play the game, like you could turn off the time limit, you could play with different visuals, and you could give Sonic his other abilities from older titles. The game is pretty packed, and that's excluding DLC which I'll go over in another video. They did change some of the boss fights and added some transitions, which is putting in the little effort the Sonic team wouldn't normally do. The music in this game is amazing. Amazing isn't even enough to describe how great the soundtrack is. You start the game and it already sounds great. The menu, the old zone remixes, the credits, they're all so good. Something I don't see many people talk about is in Green Hill Zone Act 2. Why did I bring this specific song up? Well listen closely and it kinda sounds like Spongebob walking. Every Act 2 now has a different song just like Sonic 3. That was a good choice since it now gives us new versions of songs we already heard. Of course it would have good songs, I mean all Sonic games have good songs, just not great gameplay. But they chose the right people to create the game's soundtrack, and I really am grateful for it. Sonic Mania was a great game, and more people should play it if you haven't played it already. If you haven't played it, you're missing out on a lot, but I really can't force you now, can I? I really hope there will be more content surrounding this game, whether it's a new zone from DLC or a full on sequel. I just want more, and I hope Sega does consider it.